Off, Democrats are running another all-nighter. This time it's to try to stop Jeff Sessions for attorney general. The vote on his nomination is expected tomorrow. Democrats, of course, know that their odds of stopping these nominations are slim. But they really are doing everything they can to slow these nominations down at least. Joining us now is Senator John Tester, Democrat of Montana, uh, who opposed Betsy DeVos's nomination earlier today. Uh, Senator Tester, I know it's very busy tonight. Thank you for joining us. It's great to be here, Rachel. Thank you. Can you give me a little bit of insight in terms of what's happened tonight, what you Democrats are trying to do tonight, and what's happened with this kerfuffle over Senator Warren and uh, what, what Senator McConnell has done to interrupt her speech? Well, a, a lot of shenanigans by, by the majority. I think it's just to take the focus off of, of Jeff Sessions. There's plenty of reasons to vote against uh, Senator Sessions as Attorney General. And I think this is just politics as usual in Washington, D.C. And, uh, you know, trying to run up procedural roadblocks. When the fact is, is uh, on these cabinet appointees, we need to have a full debate. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that, Rachel. And there's plenty of things, like I said, and uh, Elizabeth brought up some. I heard Dick Blumenthal and others brought up some issues uh, on Jeff Sessions. And, uh, and we ought to have the debate. And I think that's what Democrats are doing. Fully vet these folks. Uh, uh, before the vote, and uh, and hopefully we'll get some help from the other side on some of these candidates that don't that, that don't match up. Senator, before tonight, I'm not. And forgive me if this is an oversight on my part, but I was not clear um, if if you have made a, an overt statement, if you'd made a clear statement as to how you intend to vote personally on Senator Sessions' nomination. Have you decided whether you'll vote yes or no on him? I have. Uh, Jeff Sessions has been a strong supporter of the Patriot Act. When we tried to uh, fix the Patriot Act to protect liberties and protect privacy. He, he voted against that. Uh, he also voted against the Violence Against Women Act. He does not uh, really appear to care about people who've had uh, women who've had violence uh, committed against them. And uh, so I'm going to be voting no. Like I said, there's plenty of reasons to vote no on Jeff Sessions. He, he You know, this is attorney general, which is an incredibly important business position in this country. And we've got to have somebody that not only will do a good job in that position as the chief, uh, the chief attorney, but but also hold the president accountable when he does things that uh, may be a little bit off the rails. Senator, you um, have a reputation as a uh, very practical man, as a practical politician, as somebody who Thank is uh, not particularly ideologically motivated. You're more of a get things done kind of guy. I think that's why you have a, a lot of admirers on, on, on all sides of the ideological spectrum. Given your, your political instincts and where you come from, what's your take on this overall strategy by the Democratic caucus to just slow things down. That even when you don't have the numbers, even when all the way down to the wire with Betsy DeVos, you're praying for a third Republican to side with you, even after you got those two. Um, with the Sessions nomination, we haven't heard any Republicans say they won't vote for him. Um, what's your assessment of how valuable it is just to slow things down, even if you can't stop them? Well, Rachel, first of all, I, I look at it from a different perspective, and that is, is that we're bringing out all the information hmm. and talking about all the challenges these different cabinet appointees, in this case, Jeff Sessions has. I think that's healthy. I think there's a there's a world of, uh, of information out there on Jeff Sessions in his years in public service that we need to scrutinize and evaluate and see if he's fit for the job. If that takes 30 hours to do, then let's take the full 30 hours and do it. And I think that's a good strategy. Let not only the people in the Senate hear what's going on with these different uh, nominees, but let the American people hear too. And, and I will tell you, and, and Betsy DeVos, we, we received... Uh, 35,000 emails and, and phone calls in January. And uh, that's that's uh, seven times as many as we did in January of 2016. And it's it, it, it not only is DeVos, but it's a lot of these other cabinet secretaries, Jeff Sessions being another one, that quite frankly just don't match up with the, with the values of, of many of the middle class families in this country. Senator John Tester of Montana, thank you for your time tonight. I know the second night of a two-night all-nighter, uh, it's no fun to be on TV. So thanks for being